Oh, welcome guys. <coughs> welcome guys. So, uh, in this video, uh, we are trying to prove, uh, quickly define a P and MP is, and then prove the, uh, the, maybe the first basic result that P is a subset of MP. Okay, so P is, uh, defined to be the polynomial time n to k, where k runs 0 to infinity. So basically, it says that decision problem can be solved by a polynomial Turing machine. Okay. So basically L belongs to P if and only if all X belongs to L, there is a polynomial term machine alpha where alpha of X accepts. So base and if X do not belong to L then alpha of X will reject. So basically you can solve it, you can decide decide which uh this input is correct or not in a polynomial time. Okay, and L belongs to NP means that uh, there is this verifier that the V takes two inputs. Such that uh so Right, so everybody remember NP is the non-deterministic polynomial time means that for each x belongs to L, there is this y such that the v of x y accepts. So that means you have a good certificate, right? If you, if somebody provide you certificate, then you can verify that where this certificate is correct or not. So there is this y that v of x y will accept. So for example, it's like a, a where given a where given a, a set formula. Or basically the circuit set, which there is a satis where the, there is a sat satisfiable assignment, and uh, if somebody give, just give you the correct answer, correct assignment, then you can change you can check this assignment in the polynomial time, so such that v runs at most o x k to a power time, right? So you can check the you can check the certificate in polynomial time, okay? And why it's called a certificate, okay? So the theorem says that P is a subset of MP. So, right. So the proof idea is that it's just proof as mathematics, right? You need to prove a set is a subset. So you take a you take a for uh, L belongs to P, and uh, for all X belongs to L, you need to prove the verifier, give a verifier, right? So it's very easy. I just uh, I just whatever you certificate give me, I just define a V of X Y to be. I will. I already know there is a point turning machine alpha such that alpha of X f or accept or reject right so i just let v of x y to be alpha x okay so the easy that check v of x y runs in a polynomial time this is trivial right because v of x y is defined to be alpha x and then we already know that uh things x belongs to p so alpha of, of x runs in polynomial time so you just let the verifier to be your to be the p turing machine so you can at the polynomial time that the turing machine can easily check whether this is answer or not so V of x runs in polynomial time, which is trivial, so done. So, yeah, basic definition of P and MP. Okay, that's it.